Hey guys, welcome to Make With Me Monday. Um, today I'm going to make, try to make, I'm going to make um, a map, Aman Amanda's, Amanda's, uh, Amanda, that's her name. I'm going to make Amanda's shower bomb recipe. This is the first time that I have made this recipe, so I, um, I won't say that I watched her live, like when she was making it in the shower bomb class, um, cause I was prepping for my class. So I, like it was on in the background, but I wasn't like watching, watching. So I know basically as much as you would know if you like read through the instructions and were trying to do it yourself. So that's, that's good. Um, and I also have a, I have a couple of different things I'm going to try with it. So all my powder ingredients are in here and I'm just going to give those a quick stir before I add my liquids. Every time before I start, I'm like, okay, do I have everything? But without fail, there's always something you don't have. I think I, I think I have everything though. So yeah, there's my powdered ingredients. So the only thing in this recipe that's the only thing in this recipe that's like really different from what you might have on hand as a, as a bath bomb maker um, is sodium alginate. Alginate? Alginate. So I got mine from, I got mine from, if you guys are commenting, I cannot see it. I don't know why. Sometimes it shows me and sometimes it doesn't. Um, I got mine from Amazon. Um, it was... I don't know. I want to say like fifteen or sixteen dollars, or maybe I've been might have been a little bit more. Um, but the thing is, you only use a really small amount, like ten grams. So this is probably enough to last me forever. And shower bombs are kind of a new concept for my customers anyway, so it's not like something that's going to be flying off the shelf. I don't think. Um, so there's my dry ingredients, and then here's my liquid ingredients. I'm going to pour this in here. Does she say drizzle? I, I I was like really determined to trickle. It says trickle, so we're gonna we're gonna trickle. We're gonna trickle this time. I'm just covering up that little seam. I don't know. There's a trap door here where it's gonna the dust is gonna fly up anyway. I tell my kids um, the reason that I like rules so much is like. If you don't do things right, at least the first few times, then you can never really have a lot of ground to stand on when you want to go break the rules later and figure out how. So like I tell my kids, like the reason I like to, I, I like rules so much is so that I know how to break them later. Bend them, so I know how to bend them maybe is a better way of saying it. I'm just gonna make sure all that's in there. Okay, and scrapey, scrape the bottom. I also, you know, it doesn't say, and Amanda, tell me if I'm wrong here. I don't know, if, or if, if some Amanda's watching or somebody else's watch. I don't think it says whether to use lakes or dyes or micas. I wouldn't use dyes because I think that that would dye somebody. And I want these, so this, uh, the fragrance for this is pink sugar. Um, and it is a discoloring fragrance, so it might turn these brown a little bit, but it's for me. It's for personal use. Pink sugar, like, makes my toes curl in pleasure. It's so good. So it's for me personal, so I don't care if they turn a little bit brown. Um, but it is a discoloring fragrance, so that is something to be aware of. But, um, and so I was thinking about doing Red 27, but we all know that it's most danger. It's potent. It's the most potent potion, okay? It has the most likelihood to stain somebody. So I'm gonna use, um, Nurture Soap sent me this sample of Love Song, which is ironic because I've been thinking about getting this mica, and it's a really pretty pink. So I, that's what I'm gonna use for this. And I hope that that's within guidelines. I don't know. And I probably, uh, I'm gonna use like, I'm gonna start off with a quarter teaspoon. 
Let's see how that goes. Um, just like a really soft pink. I don't know. I also thought about putting glitter in it. Just, I don't know why. I'm not a glitter person, but it just felt like maybe I should. And then it, I decided not to because if my husband uses it, he'll like freak out. Oh, there are comments now. Yay. Um, oh, Marquita, you say you love pink sugar too. It's so good. Like, oh, it's so good. Okay, I can take this off now. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit too pale. It's like baby pink. Very, very small pink. So I'm going to add another quarter teaspoon. I'll let you guys see it. It's like barely covered. Co covered. It's barely covered. It's barely colored, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. And while I'm in here, I'm just going to give this a scrape. And this a scrape. And then I'm just going to kind of scrape the sides down a little bit. So make sure everything's getting all mixed up. Oh my God, it smells so good. So this is also, in a second I'll show you what mold I'm going to use. Because the mold is a little bit of an experiment today too. Um, not that I haven't used the mold before. So the mold itself is not an experiment. But I don't know if this type of mold will work with this type of project. Um, in the recipe handout, um, Amanda uses a single use mold, I think, or maybe she, did you, she maybe used the Milky Way mold or something like that. Oh no, the cicada, the cicada mold. Okay, so the mold I'm going to use today is this um, one, it's like a multi mini cube. Um, this is something that I specifically requested for chunk of dust to make for me so this is from chunk of dust and I specifically requested it because um, I was thinking that these would be awesome for toner tabs if you don't know what a toner tab is um, it's basically like a mini bath bomb with essential oils um, Lush makes them so you would heat up some water or uh, you know fill your sink up with some warm water you drop the tab in there you drape a towel over it and then you uh, put your face over it and then it like it has you know tea tree and stuff like that so it's like opens your pores and um and then with lush you can also put it in a bowl um you can when you're done you can pour it into like a spray bottle and then keep it in the fridge for a few days and then use it as like a mist so it's kind of a cool concept and i used to have um toner with my other company but i just i'm not really into like I don't like storing bottles and jars, so I, I'm really like try to stay minimal when it comes to like um, keeping that kind of stuff like on hand. So I like the idea of toner tabs, um, but you could also use these for petty bombs because uh, of the small size. Um, I told Heather pats of butter for the waffles, like you guys have asked about that, and I'll show y'all when I'm done what I've actually been using them for. My kids are freaking out. Okay, back to this. Let's see what we're doing. Scrape your bowl in case some butter's hardened onto it. Check. You can add your color. Done. Test your mixture. It should hold together. It should. It should hold. To, it, should, it should hold together. Okay. A little bit like a bath bomb mixture. It's a little bit dry. And so it says. And then mold your bomb. So mine is a little bit dry. And then it says that you might have to make it wetter, or um dryer depending on the mold and it also says to use some binder which I haven't done yet so we put some binder in here so the thing about this mold though like I asked um, I asked Heather from chunk of dust if she if that was something that they could make for me and so she said yes she was super sweet she sent it to me and then I was like, yeah, and I'll take pictures and send it to you. And like, I, I got busy. I kept forgetting to take the pictures. I have a few things I've made with it. And uh, so she was like, I was like, hey, I'm gonna use that mold Monday. If you, you know, wanna, you know, heads up, I'm gonna use that mold Monday. And she was like, yeah, you wanna send me pictures of it? <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah. So I guess, and she was like, that, uh, basically they sent me like the prototype. Like, I felt bad. I felt bad after figuring that out. So, okay, so I sprayed some binder. Now, Amanda says to do 50-50 of alcohol and water, and you know what, I just sprayed with alcohol. Let's put some water in there, too. So, I'm 
So this, if you've never heard of a shower bomb or used a shower bomb, it's like a bath bomb. So it has citric acid and baking soda, so it's gonna fizz, right? Um, has, for the size of the batch, it has a lot of, well, not a lot, but it has, you know, a good bit of SLSA because you want it to be foamy because you're supposed to basically scrub your body with it. So it's like, almost like a solid sugar scrub, but it's not sugar, it's bath bomb, right? And I'm not even gonna weigh these, to be honest, because like I said, this is personal use. This is my very first time ever making these. I guess I should weigh it so I know like how much to expect it to fill and how much to expect it to make, but I just am excited I wanna try it. So, um, and I've tried shower bombs from other makers and they were really like, some of the ones I had were like really scratchy. So I wasn't like too, too excited about it. Um, but the ones I've seen, I've seen Amanda, um, you know, posting the pictures of hers and they looked amazing, like a lot softer. So, and also the recipe, I was given a free recipe from somebody else and I was intrigued by it, but that recipe didn't have sodium, sodium, yeah, it didn't have sodium alginate. So I think that that's a pretty big difference. Okay, so if you've used the embed maker, this is really similar to the embed maker. So you just, you fill the mold, you press it down. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Boy. <laughs> There's like one corner I didn't feel good enough. Ah, this looks good. This looks really good. So I wanted to do these mini sizes because I have the idea of putting them in um, a bag, you know, that they can reseal and they would be like single use instead of taking the full, uh, the full, shower bomb to take it instead of taking the full shower bomb into the shower right a customer or an individual like me could um could just take one out of the bag get the one you want take it into the shower so it's like more of a single use item i like the concept of that a little bit better and also for me it makes it easier to like differentiate it so customers aren't trying to use a shower bomb as a bath bomb because i'm sure that's going to happen like, I'm sure that's gonna, I'm, yeah. Customer education. But you can tell, <laughs> you can tell your customers what something's for. I've said this in classes before, so you can just tune me out if you hear, heard me say this, but you can tell some your customers what something's for. You can make a label that has like detailed instructions for what something is for, or how to use it. You can write it on your website in the description. Um, you can post videos of how to use a product or item and you're still gonna get people who are gonna be like, I dropped my bubble bar into the bathtub and it didn't make bubbles. And you're like, did you hold it under running water? And you're like, no. And you're like, okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. That's not how it works, so. <laughs> uh, Y'all, this works perfectly for this. Oh my gosh, I'm like really excited about this actually. <gasps> and that's like so satisfying. I just have to say, being able to like pop those out like that, super satisfying. Cool. Let's see, I can probably get Probably can't get a full thing out of this next one, but like partial. Oh, this is this is exciting. So this is just kind of like a nice um, extra element that you can offer. And this this uh, recipe is part of the shower steamers class. The shower fun in, fun in the shower. What do we call it? The shower boot camp, basically. Um, where uh, I did shower steamers and Amanda did shower bombs. Um, and 
yeah, so that, like, that boot camp, we focused on shower stuff, and I talked in that boot camp about, like, you're always going to have somebody who's going to walk up to your booth at your farmer's market or, you know, something like that, and they're going to tell you that they don't bathe or they don't take baths or whatever, like, weird way they say it that makes it sound like they just don't wash themselves. And being able to say, well, I have shower products is, like, a really good, like, it's really good. And when you do farmer's markets, after a while, like, you have your whole script. Like, no matter what somebody says to you, you're like, I have an answer for that. So, <laughs> um, but being able to say, like, well, I also make some shower products. I have shower steamers or I have shower bombs um, is, a, you know, a nice little addition to your line. And then there's people who won't tell you that they don't take baths. But, um, like, my mom, who her last house, she didn't have um, a bathtub. And a lot of houses have that, where, like, either the master bath doesn't have a bathtub anymore. They have showers, and it's a really nice shower, but it's not a bathtub. So, okay, cool, guys. That was so quick and easy. Look at that. And I can't wait to see how they do. I think that the size should be fine for a single use. Now, if you were going to use it as like a all over body scrub. See, I had this as a backup in case it didn't work. And this is the Kata Heart Bombshell. It's just the bottom part of it, which I love using. Because um, you can just stick, stick mix in it, top it off, and slam it down. Oops, sorry, that was loud. But um, so I, I love, that's like a little cheese that I use with that mold all the time. Um... So, you know, if somebody wanted it more like they want to be scrubbing their arms and stuff like that, then you probably want to use a bigger mold. But I'm excited to try this little size. And you can see that they're already, like, you know, they're able to move around and stuff. And then they're grainy. Hold on. They are grainier, okay, because, and somebody said that it was, like, kind of rough and scrubby. But, like, it's supposed to be scrubby. Like, that's, it's like a scrub bar thing what that is I'm gonna save these gloves for later so I'm not gonna turn them inside out but I want to show you some other things um, that I've used that mold for and then I want to show you um, a new packaging so um, I actually my dad has diabetes he has um, neuropathy and stuff like that and so he asked me a while back if I would make some CBD products for him I don't really want to sell CBD because I don't want to deal with the I live in Texas where they're like maybe not quite as woke when it comes to CBD as other places in the world um but I'm gonna make some, I made some CBD bath bombs for him he likes he likes rose I don't know why um and these are called um these are called rosebud they use cannabis, uh, rose and cannabis accord fragrance oil. It's not, there's no, there's no wacky to backy in it. But, so, um, RJ Sue, Sue RJ, oh my God, I'll, ta I'll tag her in the post. She had posted a while back. She's in India and she uses these for herself. And she had posted a while back about these clamshells and I asked her about them. Um, just kind of like out of curiosity, like how much would they cost? You know, what does shipping look like for that kind of item? And so she sent me some. And so you basically like, so this is a two and a half, uh, a Kata two and a half. I know sometimes the sizes are a little bit different and you just like pop it in there and then it has this hang tag. And I think that she said that she could do like an insert so that it has like, you could put your logo and stuff on it. But if you guys are interested in that, and I know, so the reason I'm talking about this, I don't usually like, you know, talk about like other suppliers like that aren't like the big suppliers, right? But the reason that I'm talking about this is because um, I've been talking with her for a while about these packages. And um, I was like, I, I, was, I wanted to make sure that you guys knew like, that um that it's worth buying right because it was one of those things where i know that we're all like oh it's from overseas i don't know if i should trust it and so i highly recommend these like if you have any kind of like so for me this is going to be a, a this is gonna, if i was going to sell it it would be like a 20 dollars bath bomb because it's got that cbd in it but i mean it's just it really i don't know i just feel like it's so elevated now i'm like looking for other reasons to use them but that way um 
you know, they stay nice looking and they stay nice and upright. Let me show you what else I've been doing though with this, uh, with this, <laughs> with this multi mini cube, whatever we're calling it. So my kids, uh, last Christmas or last year made me a whole list of like Minecraft items that they wanted. And so, um, that's what actually what I decided to do it for. So I'm making like a nine, a nine piece. Uh, so it'll be like nine mini bombs, right, for kids. And it's going to be an ice cube and a grass cube. And I have like a cheat sheet over here because I don't even know what these things are. A coal, an obsidian, a honey cube. Like they had to write it all out for me and plan it all out for me. But that's another thing that I'm using it for. Um, and then, like I said, pats of butter. <laughs> So like if you do it like you know that's full and then that's half so a pat of butter would be awesome anyway just wanted to share that little <laughs> make with you guys um so that's i didn't expect it to be so quick and easy but that's it that's all i had today for the make with me monday let me go through and see if there's any questions <laughs> you love that i'm barefoot yeah um i mean Oh man, I spilled red 27 though yesterday. Like I spilled like a micro scoop of it. And fortunately I stayed on my little mat area, but it like, it gets everywhere. So I don't like to wear shoes in here. You know, they just get, um, Heather says your five-year-old, yeah, dude, guys, if you have kids, ask your kids what's cool. Okay. They know what's cool. If you're not doing something like this, this Christmas, if you don't know who this guy is, this is an Among Us crewmate, um, which is like the big game that the kids are doing. Like they, you know, I, I yeah, you can't call it, I, mean, I don't know if it's licensed or not, but you know, call it enough, like mine's gonna be called Sus. If you play the game, if your kids play the game, they'll know what that means. Ask your children, okay? That's what I do. I'm like, and they, they have to help me with everything, you know? They're like, mommy, you have to update your iOS. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. It's just not working. So, but ask your kids. Your kids know what's going on way more than you do. Okay, um, let's see if we have questions. Yes, yeah, so I sprayed, uh, I sprayed three sprays of rubbing alcohol and three sprays of water. Now it said to do a 50-50 mix, but I use water generally as my binder. So, um, yeah, so the, the recipe calls for 50-50, um, but I, yeah. What's the difference between a shower steamer and a shower bomb? Okay, so a shower steamer is going to be the, so my shower steamers, okay, This is a, this item has a ton of menthol in it. It's smaller, it's got a ton of menthol, it's got a lot of essential oils in it, and this is more for like the vapor throw. So I have, I instruct my customers to hang it in the shower. Um, it's gonna create that menthol vapor throw, and it's more like, it's just adding kind of like that spa-like experience. Now you can add pep you know, peppermint and stuff like that, and people like to call them like breathe, you know, breathe easy or sinus relief, stuff like that. Um, I try to stay away from that because I don't like to make any claims like that, but you know, it's, it's up to you what you want to call, um, you know, claim that it does is just letting you know, like that something I stay far away from. Um, and so I just, yeah. It's you just hang it in the shower. Um, now I do say like I have a lemongrass one, and I hang that in my boys' shower. Y'all, it is so good because I have I have two boys. Like that's an, that's enough, right? Like you know, right there when I say I have eleven and seventeen year old boys, they stink. Okay, and so like why why can't they pee in the toilet? Like I'm going, I'm going to bed the other night. Sorry, this is like completely off topic, but their bathroom is like right next to my door, and my my uh, bedroom door was closed. My husband was already in bed, and I'm like walking by their bathroom, and I'm like, I stop, I like start smelling the carpet. I'm like, it smells like dog pee. Like one of the dogs must have come and peed in the hall. And I'm talking to my husband about it, and he's like, no, that's just their bathroom smells like that. And I was like, oh my god. So anyway. <laughs> I'll hang one in there even though like they don't really use them I'll hang it in there and it, I can smell it all the way in the hallway so shower steamers are really 
they just they're more about the aroma and the fragrance throw and then a shower balm is going to be scrubby um it's got slsa in it which is a surfactant so it's going to clean and it's going to scrub there's the answer to that question that was much longer than um yeah um okay christy wants to try this recipe yes uh amber says that Ooh, you added kokum butter to it, mango butter. That's, ooh, that sounds really good. Um, and then people are saying that they add cards for it. Marquita Rubik's Cubes, yes. Rubik's Cubes, like there's so many different like things that you could uh, add it to. So I think that, oh, uh, Savvy says, can I show them after they discolor? Yes, uh, if they discolor, I'll show you. Um, they, I mean, they might not discolor that bad, I don't know, but this for myself so it's whatever um so that's pretty much it guys oh Brittany asked uh where do i hang them in the shower on the handle or away from the water um i like to have my shower steamers on the faucet or the knobs um my husband he likes it up in his face like he likes it in his face which i don't like i think that that's too much um or you can put it on the shower floor. It just kind of depends, like, so when the water hits it, the water's going to activate it. If you don't have enough menthol, if the essential oil isn't strong, it might not make it through, like, the vapor steam. So it just kind of depends. I mean, do you face do you face the water? Are you a person who puts your butt at the water? You know, because then the vapor's going to be going, you know? So it, like, kind of just kind of depends how you use the shower. Um, but that's what's kind of cool is you have a lot of different options for like where you're going to um to hang it so yeah that's pretty much it so guys yeah um i'll give you the link for our old tag sue so if you guys are interested in getting um some of these uh i don't even know if this is like a clamshell stand-up clamshell um i'll tag her so you can look at that and then i'll put a link for um for heather's for the chunk of dust mold and then for the freight I'll, I'll tag everything i'll tag everything that i use so that you can find it all um and that's pretty much it bye guys thanks for joining